Hello, I'm Jim Story, and I'm going to be reading a poem by one of my favorite poets, Howard Nemirov. The poem is called The Statues in the Public Garden. Alone at the end of Green Alley, alone where a path turns back upon itself, or else where several paths converge, Green bronze, gray stone, the weather-beaten famous figures wait inside their basins on their pedestals till time, as promised them, wears out of date. Around them rise the willow, birch, and elm, sweet shaken pliancies in the weather, weather now. The granite hand is steady on the helm, the sword, the pen, unshaken in the hand, the bandage and the laurel on the brow, the last obedience is the last command. Children and nurses eddying through the day, old gentlemen with newspapers and canes, and licit lovers, public as a play, never acknowledge the high regard of fame across their heads, the patriots' glare, the pains of prose, and scarcely stop to read a name. Children, to be illustrious is sad. Do not look up. Those empty eyes are stars, their glance the constellations of the mad who must be turned to stone. To save your garden, my playful ones, these pallid voyagers stand in the streak of rain, imploring pardon. At night, the other lovers come to play, endangered games, and robbers lie in wait to knock old ladies with a rock. But they tremble to come across these stony men and suffragettes who shine like final fate in the electric green of every glen. For it is then that statues suffer their sacrificed lives and sigh through fruitless trees after the flesh. Their sighs tremble the air they would surrender scepters, swords, and globes, feeling the soft flank shudder to the breeze under the great coats and the noble robes. In darker glades, the nearly naked stone of athlete goddess chased as any snows that stain them winters tempts maiden and man from their prosthetic immortality. Pythagoras's thigh or Tycho's golden nose for a fig leaf fallen from the withered tree.